Hi my dear friends how are you all welcome to the positivity series of just for your ears podcast today i have a wonderful story for you that portrays how we often fall victim to our own perceptions voluntarily the title of this story is volunteer victims winning over perceptions In a bustling city there was a well loved cafe La Dolce Vita known for its cozy ambience and delicious cuisine regular patrons enjoyed the warmth of its rustic decor and the welcoming nature of its staff particularly known for their commitment to customer satisfaction George a man of habit and high standards often compared la dolce vita to other cafes one evening he called maria the compassionate and patient head waitress who was always eager to please and quick to respond to customer needs george was sulking his face etched with displeasure maria why does this restaurant give me only one piece of bread I have seen other places serves baskets full. It's simply not fair, he lamented. Eager to resolve this issue, Maria promised, "We will take care of it, Mr. George." The next evening, George was greeted with a basket of four slices of freshly baked bread. To Maria's surprise, he frowned. "This is still isn't enough." determined to meet his expectations maria instructed the kitchen to serve a dozen pieces the following night as george arrived his eyes narrowed at the sight of the overflowing basket still inadequate he muttered shaking his head seeing george's continued dissatisfaction chef antonio who took pride in every dish he served constantly striving for culinary perfection took it upon himself to resolve the issue once and for all with a sparkle of ingenuity he decided to prepare an enormous loaf of bread for george's next visit the kitchen buzzed with excitement as antonio and his team crafted a 6 foot long 2 foot wide loaf of bread it required four staff members to carry it to george's table the next evening as they plopped the gigantic loaf in front of him maria and chief antonio watched anticipation gleaming in their eyes the bread took up half the table casting a shadow over george's plate george looked at the loaf his expression unchanging he sighed and said so we are back to one piece again are we the key takeaway from the story is like this man we volunteer to be victims but in more subtle ways We believe life is unfair. People are untrustworthy and we are getting a bad shake. We think everyone should know just how terrible things are and we feel obliged to tell them. The problem is life sometimes is unfair and we can be victimized. But the greater truth is people can decide whether they are victims or are victors they can feel helpless and miserable or they can try to feel strong happy people have learned that they cannot always control their circumstances but they can often control how they will respond true contentment doesn't come from external circumstances or material abundance but from how we choose to perceive and respond to what we have when we focus on what's lacking 
even abundance feels insufficient when we appreciate what we have even small things can bring great satisfaction happiness is not determined by the amount of bread on the table but by the gratitude in our hearts we can choose to be victims of our circumstances or victors over our perceptions embrace a mindset of appreciation and strength and even the simplest things can lead to a fulfilling life i will come back to you with yet another powerful story next week until then be happy keep smiling and most importantly be satisfied win over your perceptions bye